started with our director, Ivano Blaswick, meeting the art historians Giles Waterfield and, and Dornades, probably four and a half or so years ago. And they started to develop uh, a curatorial framework for looking at a history of the artist studio and bringing in how artists have, have represented the studio, whether that's through photography, whether it's through the studio's subject across many different mediums, and also through the concept of studio reconstructions. One of the central features of the exhibition is the creation of what we've called studio corners. So there are nine different uh, studio corners where we've tried to recreate not um, sort of facsimile copies of an artist's studio, but to take you into their world. Um, and this ranges from um, Li Wanqiao's kitchen cabinets that have been shaped by Aaron Tan, to uh, Kurt Schwitter's Mertzbau uh, in, in Germany, to the studios of Henry Moore or, or Kim Lim. Um, and there was so many different choices, architectural um, approach, uh, um, you know, use of photography, of maquettes, um, to try and make that uh, studio corner concept real. And I think one of the sort of real creative challenges um, of the exhibition was how to bring enough variety into doing that. We're standing in front of this really seminal um, performance uh, piece by Te Ching Xie, um, dating back to his time in New York in the late 70s and early 80s where he did the series of one-year performances. The, the work that we're showing in uh, the artist's studio is the, um, the clocking uh, out piece where for a year um, he clocked in and out of the, the sort of time record that was kept in factories, um, in, in sort of factories of that time, in industrial production of the 70s and, uh, and 80s. So during that one year, he was really uh, depriving himself of any meaningful sleep or activity. Um, and as a really this open-ended idea of what a studio could be and what art practice could be. So his medium itself is, is time. And I think that is very much something that is shared between Te Ching Xie, Lisa Milroy, or uh, Rockney Ramin Herzabe and Hassam Bremanian. So it was thinking about the studio as a place where artists actually grapple with time. One of the real great joys for this particular exhibition was the really poetic and beautiful way that Aaron has found a way to both recreate that sort of spherical studio in his own studio, and but show it not as an object, but as, um, as a video image that is played from a tiny projector projecting onto a small frying pan, um, bringing in, into dialogue with Lee, who himself was known to cook, uh, to cook with just one pan. And so he would cook everything in it eat from that pan so there's less to wash. Uh, so in some way, I think that, um, that poetic uh, way of, of um, looking at the ghost of a particular artist in that space, I think was, uh, was really wonderful. I wanted to, um, to, to, to think about participation uh, because uh, it was very important in, in Lee's works and, and the LYC Museum was really um, a total artwork in which um, visitors could come in and participate in, in the making of this, uh, of making and remaking of this artwork. Um, so um, in, a, in, in a sense, um, Lee's magnetic points can no longer be touched because um, it's uh, it's, it's under conservation. Um, so there was a conundrum in the sense of how do you uh, reactivate these uh, points. Um, so in this, in this work, it, the points, they become um, 
hang pictures in this museum, this uh, litter museum. Uh, so they look like litter paintings. And I wanted the kitchen cabinet to be, um, uh, be able to be touched and, and people could open and close the doors as they wish. So there is that kind of uh, transference of that participation from the magnetic points into, uh, into the kind of uh, fabrication of the kitchen cabinet. We've noticed um, how, how much our visitors are interacting with um, Li Wanqie's kitchen cabinets. I think it's a very nice moment in the exhibition where you can interact with an artwork. It's really exciting that we've been able to, to include Li in, in, in this show because I think he's an artist who maybe uh, has been slightly overlooked and I think it's, it's very, very much a moment to to make sure that he is um, uh, re-evaluated and everything that, that he was doing um, at the Lee YC Museum was very much about social practice, about bringing in the community, uh, bringing in artists, being very collaborative. I think all, all of those things that he was doing in, you know, in the late 1960s, early 70s were really, really important. Well, the selection of both artists and works um, was, of course, doubly significant. It's significant, I think, for Teixing Xie in that whole body of work that he produced, where he's really questioning um, the function of the studio, what is a studio. Um, we picked the clocking in and out because of the way it dealt with notions of time and how it uh, allowed us to deal with a, a wider conversation of, um, of how artists are tackling time as a medium um, and, and, and the role of the studio in doing so. With Li Wanqia, it was, um, uh, again, uh, it was informed by a, a number of different factors. Um, one, there was this sort of archival photograph of the spherical studio, which is a beautiful, haunting object. Um, and it raised a question as, as to, you know, what was Lee thinking about it? You know, is this a utopian studio? Uh, is this a studio of the mind that could never be built? The fact that he actually built a space in Cumbria, the LYC Museum and Art Gallery. Could we read that as, as his working of that utopian ideal? Also within the show, and he's a neighbor uh, in the show to Kurt Schwitters, they both had this idea for, for building spaces which in themselves are works of art. It created this sort of wonderful dialogue between the different works um, that in some ways kind of inform and expand um, their meanings.